Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. I don't actually know what I look like right now because I haven't got my contact lenses in so like the, the screen is blurry. So if I look like shit, I do apologise but I've literally just woken up and I'm contemplating why I'm recording right now. Yes, anyway, I thought I would film a morning routine for you all because like mornings are like one of my, probably one of my favourite time of the days. I think I don't enjoy waking up. I don't like the thought of waking up but then once I'm awake and I'm like going about my day I'm like oh it's fine do you know what I mean I don't know it's weird it's currently a Saturday so it is I do wake up a little bit later and I have a lot to do this morning that's why I'm awake earlier on a Saturday than I usually am but it's currently 9.3 oh. yes there how cute is my lock screen from Paris Anyway, on a weekday, I usually wake up around, on a weekday, it's more like half eight, half eight start, but I've given myself a little lion. I've got a lot to do this morning. So let's go. Let's get in to my skincare routine. So the first thing I use is the Ole Hendrickson Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. This stuff I have been using since lockdown. So that's literally about three years. I have not deviated from this product like once this is run out and I'm like oh I'll, I'll try something like I'll try something else that's just in my cupboard nothing hits the same as this it's just insane and I will rebuy it and rebuy it and it smells like oranges it smells like oranges so like who doesn't want that on their face do you know what I mean Yeah, but this product is like one product I literally can't live without. I think that just shows I'm so loyal, right? Because I'm so loyal to this makeup product. I mean, this skincare product. I think I went through a phase of lockdown where I was like obsessed with skincare because like that's all I could really do. So like I learned a lot and then like I found like a skincare routine that like worked for me and I just never uh, deviated from it again. I haven't used this for a while i'll use this it's the porter's choice exfoliate two percent bha liquid exfoliator i don't use this often i only use this a couple times a week but today i think my skin kind of needs it because i'm not using it in a while um you're sat on the cotton pad so i'm just going to take a bit of my hands and pat it in i think it was olivia that actually introduced me to this product and it just makes my skin just so smooth yeah Liv actually introduced me and then she filmed like a tiktok and was like one product that makes my forehead so smooth and like tagged this and it literally got a million views so i don't know if i'm supposed to apply it like this i think you're supposed to, you're supposed to put it on a cotton pad but doesn't matter i'll put this on i'll put moisturizer on this one is the elemis pro collagen marine cream this stuff smells like a spa it smells like a spa and it also it's got that spa spa smell to it but then also kind of smells like my first uni accommodation in Fallowfield. it's just weird it's just weird but this stuff is so so good i love elemis and it makes my skin i don't like a super thick uh, moisturizer for the mornings but this is just so hydrating. Right, I'm showered. And I feel nice and fresh. And my Asda delivery has not contacted me yet. So it's literally about, I think it's about quarter past 10. Um, I've been taking my sweet time. And I'm just gonna sit here and wait for my Asda delivery because do anything now because i'd make breakfast and like blah blah but i don't have my as order <sighs> it's coming between 10 and 11 it's currently called past 10. okay my as order has just come in this box the man is standing at the door so i need to get it all out so i can get the box back and then i'll give you a call
Honestly, doing online food shops is probably the greatest invention of the 21st century. Like, imagine a Victorian child seeing all this food and knowing that you can just deliver it to your door. It's actually crazy. Anyway, let me give you a little food shop. So this was about £40 for everything. And I think this should cover me... Like, I've got some, like, staples. And I've also got, like, some frozen food. But I think I've got, like, a lot of dinners and, like, good basics. You know me, like, I don't know what I want for dinner, but, like, I've got good basics, so, I, like, I can kind of make anything sort of thing. Let me give it a haul of what I got. Oh, they gave me the wrong one of that. Oh, whatever. So, I got two boxes of this pasta because, funny enough, I ran out of pasta. And I can go home and get some from Mum, but I'm not going home anytime soon. So, I got two boxes, which I'm actually going to refill them in and then I got these camera wafer bars I got some strawberries because I like them in my uh, protein shake so I need to put them in the freezer I got some chopped tomatoes which actually I'll start putting away this is my canned goods section um some squash because when I crave something sweet it's often just a glass of squash so that can go in there and then I got, yeah, this curry, which actually mum buys these packs and she makes them at home and they're just insane. Really, really good. Usually I get the butter chicken one, but obviously didn't have that. They gave me the chicken masala one. And then I got some tortilla wraps because I want to make, um, I saw Stars make Big Mac tacos um, with these and she like put the beef down and then cheese and like fried it. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to have them midweek because they sound delicious. So then I've just got some salt, some eggs. We love sausage and mash this time of the year. So I got some mash. Oh, I got some frozen king prawns because I just like to have things in the freezer that I can just quickly eat. And these are garlic and herb ones. Really, really yummy. Uh, I got a big pack of sausages because we eat a lot of sausages. Like we'll have bangers and mash and we'll have these for breakfast and stuff. So I got a big pack. Then we got some chicken thighs because that's i might make chicken tacos as well as a burger one or i'll put these in the curry i don't know we'll see grated mozzarella which is like our favorite then just got shredded lettuce for even either the big mac tacos or just like salads i got two garlic breads i'll probably freeze one because we never have any garlic bread in the freezer it actually annoys me and then i got frozen carrots frozen broccoli because buying frozen veg is really annoying I've got some bagels Bananas, which are going to go in the freezer, and then this gravy. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is fill up. Every time I fill up these um, uh, glass things, I always think that I'm like Khloe Kardashian. You know what I mean? God, that fits. Perfectly. And then in the other one, I've just got this. So I might just leave that until we've eaten this. I don't think I'll fill this one up with penne as well. Don't need to. Right, and then I'll put this away. Shilling this morning so I've got my food shop done and the fridge is stock so happy it's now half ten actually it's still kind of early I probably should have gone to the gym so basically today I'll tell you the quick plan this is why I'm like I don't know what this is why this morning's kind of been all over the place because we're going to watch the Everton versus Brighton game I think today and I'm not driving this time we're gonna get the train and the train's at 12 40 um, so we kind of need to leave here like quarter past 12. To be fair, it's only half 10. I can hear Manny's alarm, so let me go, because if she's going to go to the gym, I'll go with her. It's just annoying that to have that shower off.
Welcome to my morning routine. Welcome to my morning routine. This is Maddie's morning routine. Also, guys, look how cute Maddie's bedding is. It's got tan all over it. No, but it's like, look, it's got cute pink hearts. And then she's got cute pink pillows to match. You smell like Feta. I know, I can smell myself. From yeah, me. I can smell yourself. <laughs> My morning routine involves waking Maddie up. I've actually been so really good though. So I can hang really out with though. someone. I've actually been really good though. Yeah, I okay, she has vlogged. This me. She has been really good. I'm gonna get suit last night. I want Did you? Oh, that's so good. I'm really getting back into sleeping like. Okay, good. But I did have like a sleep story on. Yeah, but that's nice. Who did you listen to, Harry? You listen to Harry? It was in manifestation school. <laughs> <laughs> and I fell asleep to it. Ooh, who's texting me? Do you want some breakfast quickly before we go? I'm good at the moment, thank you. Because I was just going to make um, egg mayo and just have it with a bagel. I'm good, I'm going to eat at the game. I might just make a protein shake. But I always make this protein shake on the vlog, like, they're like, make something different. I'm like, but that's what I drink every what... day, guys. Yeah, but you're just being real. You're being Everyone's real, sick you. of seeing this fucking protein shake that I drink every day, yeah, but I'm like, so I drink it every day. No, maybe I'll, I'll make quick egg mayo because I'm kind of hungry. I need just the These I've left out because I freeze these. Actually, I can put these in the freezer right now. But I like chop the bananas up and like put them in the freezer. But they just for my protein. I've kind of got to get ready now for the day because I don't want to be running late. And I know what I'm like when it comes to outfits. Like I can never decide for the life of me on what to wear. So I'm just going to get ahead of my schedule and do my makeup now. Because basically for breakfast... I kind of go to the gym, I try and go to the gym every morning. I don't like work out every morning, I either do Pilates, cardio, or like my gym routine. So I will go to the gym some form uh, in the morning and I'll always have that protein shake that I've made. I put it on my TikTok and I've made it on my YouTube channel many a times. But I thought, I'm gonna show you something different. So I usually have egg mayo, like I make my own egg mayo, have it on bagel with like a sausage. I have been loving that because it reminds me of New York. So I'm gonna make that this morning. I'm gonna show you how I make that because I got this like really nice um, recipe off TikTok and kind of made it my own. I'm gonna do my makeup. This is currently, my tripod is currently my water bottle because I've lost it. So you're sitting in my water bottle at the moment. Anyway, I need to get ready. I need to get ready. I needed to wash my hair this morning, but that takes a lot of um, mental energy to wash and dry my hair. Don't like my hair when it's first been washed. I don't know the color. Like I don't really like the color. It's too soft. I don't like it. I like it after like it's been like a day or two, and it like I feel like it holds the volume better. And I just don't like it the day of hair wash. So I'm gonna slick it today because that true fat. I haven't slicked my hair back in ages. I need to go and wet my beauty blender. I've had a couple messages, like when I posted my makeup and stuff to do an in-depth and like actually show you what I do with my makeup. So I'm gonna do that today because I started following this new, this girl called Amara Colon, I think on TikTok and her makeup. She's like the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Like she's just insane. And I watched one of her makeup um, kind of tutorials. It literally got like 6 million views. And she wears no foundation. She just does concealer cream and cream bronzer. And so I bought the exact same concealer as her, which is the Hourglass one in shade Oat. I don't know if this is too light because she uses one that's like the same color as her skin tone, not a concealer that's light. Does that, that make sense? So I don't know if this is too light to get like the effect that I want, but I've been starting doing this. And like, I just feel like my makeup lasts so much longer and just like it looks better. This hourglass concealer, wait, let me set a mirror up so I can actually see myself. She puts a lot of concealer on because obviously like this is her base layer, like she doesn't wear foundation. But this hourglass concealer, I've literally never used a concealer like this. It's so creamy and blends so well because I was getting, kind of fell out of love with all my concealers. They weren't hitting the same um, as they usually were. I don't know, one of them like didn't blend. I used it and it like, didn't blend with my foundation well and like made me look weird. I kind of just put it all over my face and then I'll blend it out kind of all over my face and use this as my foundation. 
but it just blends out like do you know what i mean it's a little bit light for my face i think i need one that's gonna match my skin tone to get the same effect as her so maybe i'll go back um to space nk next week and uh, buy another one the girl of tiktok uses an hourglass dark like foundation to contour but i didn't buy that so i've got the refi um cream contour in shade tan which literally does the same job so i'll take um a brush maybe this one i've literally hit pan this stuff is so good um and kind of just make a three the thing I don't like about this camera is it makes my makeup look so much more like extreme. Like that looks so crazy on the camera, but I promise you, you've just got to trust the process. But we've got to blend, we've got to blend it out. And hopefully it should just like melt with the concealer. Once that's all blended in, I will set it. Um, I feel like this is one step that I've like majorly improved in my makeup routine, which is like improved the way my face looks. And that's using the Huda Beauty like translucent pa or powder in shade Banana Bread. Usually I either use this shade or the translucent one, but that's in my bedroom right now and I can't be able to go and get it. And then I borrowed this like puff from Maddie's uh, makeup thing. I need to get this back actually. But it's just so much better than a sponge and I can really, really like press it in. And I've been loving it and I feel like my face looks so much better for it. So I just take a little bit. And I feel like it just like smooths out your face like way more than using a sponge. Do you know what I mean? I feel like you're kind of far away to see this. Maybe I'll bring you in closer. And then I will put it everywhere else where I put the concealer as well. Oh, my pan is boiling. Hey Alexa, set a timer for eight minutes. Real, my eggs are on, right. And now I will just bronze my face up really. So I'm looking a little bit on the paler side. That's why I think I need a concealer that's more, like I've literally said that about three times, but do you know what I mean? And I use the MAC Give Me Sun, this stuff is so good that i've literally hit pan like it comes like in a like a dome it's like that so you get so much product and i've literally hit pan on it that, that shows how much um i love this product but it's like the perfect um from the shade so i will just go and put that where i put the cream the cream bronzer which is mostly around my face we're going to Liverpool today uh, and the train is literally only like 50 minutes and it costs, I think it cost me like £3.50 to get to Liverpool, which is insane because the train to London is like 50 quid. So it's just crazy how like train prices can be so cheap but so expensive. And it means I don't have to drive because we've already been this week. We went on a midweek game, I think on Wednesday because they were playing Burnley in some cup or whatever. So I already drove on Wednesday, so I was like, I really don't want to drive again because I'm racking up the miles to Liverpool. So I know the way up my heart now, but the funny thing is we don't actually ever go into Liverpool. We just go to the ground and then drive home. So Safi was like, you actually need to go to Liverpool and like, I'll we'll go for lunch and like, you can actually like go to Liverpool, Liverpool. Cause I was like, yeah, the amount of times I've driven there, but actually not been there is crazy. And then I, I really, I've got a love-hate relationship with blush, but I think with this, with this makeup, it looks good. So I used this Kylie Cosmetics blush in shade Baddy on the Block. And it's like a gorgeous, like, muted pink shade. I don't like it too pink. Um, I just don't like it too pink, but I'll literally just put it kind of all over my, that's probably a bit too much. That's probably a bit too much and it's scaring me, so I'm just going to hide that. But I'll put it like all the way down to the apples and then on my eyelids and on my nose. Yeah, I need to blend that out because it's probably a bit too much. It looks like I have someone slapped me in the face. And then for a little bit, oh God, where is it? For a little bit of highlighter, I found this like duo Charlotte Tilbury thing in my makeup bag. And it looks like that. It's got like a burgundy and a brown and like two glitters. It's called the Vintage Vamp Luxury Palette Color Coded Eyeshadows. It's like a little quadruple four. Um, and I use these eyeshadows as my highlighter. I just take both of them. 
like on a flat brush and I just kind of put it all over my cheek and my nose and on the eyes you guys know me I'm so boring I'll just take them a mass what's this called makeup by Mario master Matte palette this this is the only palette I use on my eyes and I'll take a variation probably these two these top two because they're not as dark uh, and just put that all over the lid I'm not gonna do eyeliner today because I can't be bothered and bring that down a little bit okay and then probably one of my favorite parts is my mascara I am honestly not a little bitch to any mascara you got like I'll just use whatever's in my makeup bag but I got this gifted um, by Kylie cos well, whatever Kylie cosmetics and it's just insane it's the Kylash and it literally just makes my eyelashes look so so good so I don't think I'll deviate again I think I'll rebuy this but because it's so like Make sure eyelash is so long you only need a couple of coats because this bitch is strong. And then have I got a lip liner in here? I'm going to do my lips. I know I'm going to about to eat but I'm going to do my lips. I lost my sharpener for about two weeks and then all my lip liners were blunt. I had to start carving them with a knife. Look, I literally had to carve that out with a knife. And then I found it. So one this one is probably the perfect brown that i've used it's the nyx in shade nude truffle and this this shit is like four or five pounds and it's so good i'll put lip gloss on in a minute but this is what my makeup looks like and i just think it looks really glowy super natural and like it feels like i'm not wearing anything on my face do you know what i mean So that is my updated makeup routine and that's kind of what I use. I can literally do it in about 15 minutes, it's so fast. What time is it? 5 past 11 and we need to leave it like quarter past. So I've got about an hour, I've got about an hour. To make my like egg mayo, I cut like that and I separate the egg white and the egg yolk. If that makes sense, look, so I'll take out the egg yolk. Da, 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 and put that in a separate bowl. I learned this trick on TikTok, so I'm taking no credit. And then, so I've separated the egg whites, and then I mix the egg yolks with a little bit of mayo. I can't really do this one-handed. And then I put salt in there, and then I chop these up and roughly put it in. So it's like a deconstructed egg. But it's really, really good. Like, it's actually really good. And then I'm gonna have a bagel. This is really hard to do one-handed. And then I have it on a bagel. Which obviously I've just bought. So you're going in the toaster. Oh. So I mix it until it kind of looks like something like this, and then I'll put it on me bagel. Put it on me bagel, and it's like so so delicious. I'm, like feeling a little bit hungry in the mornings, I'll have like bacon or like a sausage with it, but I'm not feeling that hungry today. God, it's hot. This one looks like. Should I have done my lips? Mmm. Mmm, that's really good today. Mmm. As I told you, I didn't wash my hair because washing my hair is like the longest process in the world. So I'm just not slicked, slicked it back. That, is that even a word? I'm not slick it back, slick it back. What the fuck? I've not slicked it back in about 10 years. Because I just don't really like the look on me, but... Okay, let me just see if I can just do it with a hairspray. Oh, that's dry shampoo. <laughs> Whoops. I really need some pomade, but... It's not like... I've got some bumps in the back, but you know what? That's all I can be bothered to do right now. Okay, it looks okay. Oh, I just don't want my hair slip back. Buddy, have you seen my round hoops anywhere? Yeah, my room and my dad. Oh. Girl, open your curtains. Oh. 
going to put these on. We're ready. We're dressed. This is what she's wearing. Give me an outfit of the day. Outfit of the day. Outfit of the day is ASOS. ASOS. Urban. ASOS. Thank you. And then we've got like nice and uggies. And then I've got this on. I think we're top already. And I need some better light. We're football ready. And I hope you enjoyed my morning routine. We're gonna go and watch football. Of the toppies, bye.